Well, the Eagles won. Hello everybody, it's me, Cowboy Legends for Life, coming back at you again with another video. It's been a while, but I hope you liked the last one. And I want to say that uh, congratulations to the Eagles fans, the Eagles who win, who beat the Cowboys last night, 23-9. And, um, and uh, congratulations to uh, the Eagles fans, of course, what I'm saying was um, Lord Brunson, um, P5, Philly 500, uh, uh, Joey Shakes, um, uh, um, Darius, um, all the rest of them, all and on and on. And congratulations to you all, all right? You know, you, you won. You know, I mean, you won, you won. A win is a win. I, I'm not going to even try to slight it. And, uh, and I'm going to give the fact also, I was supposed to make a video some time ago about Eagle fans appreciating and uh, giving respect to Dak Prescott. You know, it, it took him breaking his damn ankle, getting his ankle broke, but um, at least, well, the, the truth of the matter is, a lot of Eagle fans do respect Dak Prescott, there's some that didn't, and I'm and, and I'm kind of surprised because when I listened to Lord Brunson some some time some weeks ago, that was the first time he ever gave Prescott any 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 respect whatsoever. Okay, and so so I can't. It's hard for me to sit there and try to you know go at him about anything right now. My team sucks. My whole team sucks. My the ownership of that that organization is the worst ownership in football. I don't give a shit what the, the dollar sign says at the bottom of the page. I'm talking about the wins on the field. That's what we're here for, right? So I don't give a shit about you know the fact that look, I, even though I like Mike McCarthy, it's not working out right now. Okay, I, I, I you know, and I got to admit myself, I was wrong about Mike Nolan. I thought he'd be more prepared. He's not that bad of a coach, everybody. He's not. Okay, and people are talking about him in the media, the, 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 the thing. But that's what that's what that's talking. That's what talking heads do. That's what that's what pencil necks do. That's what I call them. I call the writers pencil necks. Y'all call them talking heads. I call them pencil necks. Snap. Okay, so that's all. That's all they're good for. And so they 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 they're admonishing uh, Nolan, but it's not all his fault to it either. It's not. Okay, because the Cowboys are well, they're just a bad team right now. All right, and I got to tell you that the actually I want to tell you the truth. The defense was bad last season, especially in the second half. We started out three and zero, okay, and Dak Prescott's uh, uh, um, offense. I'm gonna say that again. Dak Prescott's offense, okay, was number one, okay, but our defense made us eight and eight. Not just them, but of course we had the coaching. We like to talk about coaching. We had Jason Garrett, all right. And so with that, I'm telling you is that uh, our, de our defense was bad because we, by defensively, we lost to the Jets. Defensively, we lost to 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 the uh, um, Bears. I can't get over that. We lost to Mitch Trubisky, but the Bears got a great defense anyway. They got a decent defense, all right. But we lost to the Bears. Mitch Trubisky. He looked like um, Aaron Rodgers that day. So, so I, I can, I can't get over that, and we lost to not only that. Listen, listen. You know who's, do you know who's worse than Mr. Bisky? Honestly, Sam Donaldson. Okay, this is the man that that, that Colin Kyle Turd said was a playmaker, and he's better than Prescott. Now, I think that's why he lost his job at ESPN because of his stupidity attacking this this man. But I'm not, I'm, not, I'm getting off sub subject here. I want to say congratulations to our defense, though. Last night they pretty they they pretty much showed up pretty good. They did pretty well last night for the first time this season. They had a, looked like they had a full complete game, and of course we you know um, they had to work with over with, with over turnovers and everything like that. But I'm gonna tell you something: a normal team with a good defense can work around their offensive t uh, side of the ball. Make a, make a turnover so they they, they they stick they put their feet down and they just get into the dirt and maybe hold them or hold them to three points. You understand? And they didn't do that all year. Not a single time, I don't think. All right? So I'm I'm congratulating them because I saw learned, uh, uh, this uh, D-Law showed up. And this is the second week. D-Law looked pretty damn good. So maybe, maybe, just maybe he's coming out of his ignorant little funk. 
All right. And so I'm glad to see Gregory on the sideline. Man, I'm saying I think that made a difference. I actually think that him, Alden, and 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 D Law working in that front line made a difference in that front line and put pressure on Carson Wentz. Who, again, once again, I'll be on time to tell you, he's not what you think he is. Even though the man is talented, he's tall, he's he's kind of big, he got them little slimy legs and stuff. Just that's not good for a quarterback that size. All right, it's not. It really isn't. But he's strong, and he's got a powerful arm. But he doesn't read his progressions very well. I think y'all saw that. Like I've been saying all the, for, for a long time, he doesn't read his progressions very well. He's got escapability. But he doesn't have the run strength like some others do. All right? You know who I'm talking about. But but he looked bad. He, he I ain't going to lie to you. Four turnovers? Really? And if you think about that, the Cowboys got four turnovers last night. The defense got four turnovers last night. Boy, if this we if we had even if Andy Dalton was was at part part of his, a little of his his game a little bit on his game last night, we would have had a damn uh, touchdown fest. I believe that. All right. Now Danucci couldn't find uh, C D Lamb. Okay, he couldn't find uh, Amari Cooper. He had, but Amari Cooper had like five people on him. Danucci was still trying to throw him the ball. Okay, now I'm not gonna blame Danucci. Danucci, listen, Danucci is a young. Seventh round pick, he got some. He got some good. Uh, he got a good little, little, nice little arm. Okay, he's got good <laughs> footwork and all that stuff. But he doesn't read progressions well either. And he's young. He's a he's a he's a rookie man. So listen, you just can't be picked in the seventh round or the fourth round. Okay, put it this way, and walk into a situation as a third string quarterback and start for the team in the NFL. And, in, and do so well that you don't give up a freaking interception until you break the damn NFL record. Who's going to do that? You understand what I'm saying? You understand what you... Can you contemplate, contemplate right now? Contemplate what I'm saying here? Who's going to do that? So, um... <laughs> you're not going to keep on going until... And then win 11 in a row. Wins in a row, okay? You're not going to keep doing that until you got uh, somebody who's got some sense of the, the game itself. Slowing, slowing it down to his needs. Slowing it down to what he sees. Okay? It's amazing. Of course, you got to have players to believe in you, too. Or they believe in you. You know what I'm talking about. I don't got to see his name, okay? But I will tell you this. That's all the difference in the world. All the difference in the world, man. And so, Nucci, I, I, I give hats off him because he didn't look afraid at all. He wasn't afraid. I love that. I really actually love that. When you see you got balls and you're going to throw the ball anyway, and you're not reading your progress as well, and then you hold on to the ball, you look and you get popped. You got to hold on to the ball. He th Two fumbles. He should have thrown at least three interceptions last night. but <laughs> That was luck too, you know. But, you know, I, I got to hand it to him. He wasn't, he wasn't afraid. And before that, because he wasn't afraid, um, they they almost pulled it out for a while. They almost pulled it out. They almost pulled that one out. They, they, it was up, what, 9-7 to seven at one point and a half? Came back and <sighs> Carson Wentz came because of the, because of the um, fumble. Carson Wentz was again, um, was able to lead his team to another to, to a touchdown. And then that touchdown, they, they, see, that's what I'm trying to tell you. These refs don't like Jerry Jones. He's... This league, something's wrong here. Something is going on. It ain't just the Cowboys playing bad. It's the league just punishing Jerry Jones for being the ass he has been for such a long time. He's embarrassing himself. And so you get a guy who, for the quarterback fumbles, Nucci fumble, and I forgot the name of the defensive player for the Eagles, holds on to the ball. He's, he got control of the ball before it was swept out of his hands. And he's on the ground with his knees, chest. Legs, arms, knees, and freaking um, elbows. And then some other Eagle player picks it up and runs a touchdown? What the fuck is wrong with these new refs? It's like the first game of the season against the Rams. Dak Prescott threw a bomb to fucking, to, 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 uh, um, um, to a, a beautiful pass to Noah Brown. He crunches off and gets like fucking 60 yards. They call it back because they say CeeDee Lamb hit it, did a, uh, um, a, a, what do you call it, the, 
Side block. I forgot the name of the but See the limb hit the guy straight in his chest. Go see the play. Hit him in his chest. And they called it back. Bad call. Then he threw a bomb. A big bomb to, to he threw a bomb to Michael Gallup down the, down the left side. And then Michael Gallup beat Rams. He beat his man bad. Okay? And then you see even Rams, he grabbing his arm and Michael Gallup pushing him off so he can get the ball and we jumped up and got it. Came down with it. Michael Gallup is bad. You know what I'm saying? So the refs called it on Michael Gallup and Paul came to back again. It's like, this, they're, they're after something. Something's wrong, bro. It goes back to Des Bryant. Something's wrong, bro. I'm sorry. Obvious calls being made that should not have been called at all. It's ridiculous. And then, oh, oh, let me tell you something. That call with um, when I think it was Fogum. Yeah, Fogum had um, a touchdown. He ran to the side and he was knocked out of bounds. He was not in. That ball did not cross the plane, everybody. It did not. It did not cross the plane. But they gave Fogum the, ball, the, the uh, a touchdown, and no one said, you know, I want to see that. I want to see it again. And here's my red flag. Nobody did that. It takes everybody pitching in, the coaches and everybody, to get wins. I don't see that no more right now this season, this year. All right. And so, but I tell you, the Eagles the offense played just as bad as the Cowboys' um, offense did. Really did, man. I mean, Carson Wentz had 123 yards passing. And he had a touchdown, right? I think he had two touchdowns credit, but that one of them, that's, that was not a touchdown, okay? Sorry. That was not a touchdown. What's, what's going on? He, he fumbled a couple times himself, and he threw two interceptions. Two interceptions to the Cowboys' offensive line, to the defensive backs? Really? You know you're not in a situation when you ain't been your teammate did it all season long, and you get four? Turnovers when all the, well, the seven previous games you had only three total. <laughs> My God, man! But I tell you, a one Eagles won the game. Eagles are now three, four, and one. Yeah, three, four, and one. Cowboys are two and six. Okay, just two and six. They're still one win away from what the Eagles are. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't even check to see what the Redskins did. I didn't because if they won anything, and I've been making a, I've been making assumptions the last several weeks that I think the, the no, no, I keep saying Redskins. I apologize. I'm, I'm going to get rid of this name out of my mindset. I've been grew up with this because this has been the the, rest, the, the 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 Washington team has been the Dallas Cowboys' biggest enemy, biggest foe in history. The Eagles are. The Eagles are a, um, a recent thing. Okay, they're a recent phenomenon against uh, the battles between what they have against the Cowboys, especially in the, in the 70s, late 70s, I'm sorry, and the early 80s and all that. Right? And then the 90s came around a little bit. But overall, the Washington team, football team, has been the Cowboys' biggest foes, biggest rivals. Okay, so... Um, you get to play some of the biggest games. So I'm thinking that if they won, I'm going to check. You guys tell me if they did or not. If they won, and they, and they won two, in three games, I think the Eagles better start watching out because they already beat them. Okay? And they're going to play them again soon. And if they beat, and they did beat the Giants, and they did beat the Cowboys, you see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going with this? Don't count the, the, the uh, Washington football team out. Don't count Washington out. So... Everybody said, well, you know, this should be easy. And then look, not when, not when your offense is on the Eagles playing like that. I'm not saying that Washington's team uh, offense is any uh, better, but I think they can muster up something because they got a pretty good dog on defense, too. And the Eagles got a pretty good front line. They got a pretty good, strong front line. I know I, they, they do. They got a decent, solid defense to me. They have shit better than ours. But, um, but, but like, we're, we're suffering from. If your offense ain't right, it doesn't matter what your defense do unless their defense do clutch things that your offense can't. And so I think that Danucci did some bad reads, and I think that uh, the play calling for a little bit was a little bit suspect too, too. too. They, I think they did too many end arounds. They did too many of that trick shit, all right? And I've, off, and I've doggone 
I'm sorry, but our, our, our special teams is not really good. Not right now. F F F F um, I forgot his name already. Fossil. Okay. I mean, I think he's a, he's a, I think he's a great up than what we had last season, last couple of seasons, he is. But Fossil, um, I think he can get him to play better than that. But this is the this is the, the malign, much, much maligned Eastern Division of the NFC. And uh, we're going to see what the outcome is. I just know that the, uh, it just seems like to me the Cowboys may not win another game this season. Of course, but you got Giants coming up. Got to play the Eagles again and the Redskins again. So you can't really say that. All right. Maybe Andy Dalton can turn some games around. Maybe, maybe, the, maybe the, the the offensive line coach can get the players to do a little bit better job. But I forgot who number sixty three is. But that really wasn't his fault. He had his man, but his man they put an extra man and a stunt. He went right up straight the line, just knocked the Nucci down, and Nucci got a hold, got a hold on to the ball. Got a hold on to the ball, man. It's his first start. Whatever, man. But I'm not mad at all. I'm not even feeling bad at all. I'm not, you know. I just got accepted what it is. I've been through this before. I've been through oh and something seasons. I've been through one and fifteens and three and th and three and thirteens a lot of times, a number of times, and came out as a champion, loving my team. All right, Cowboy fans, be real, okay? Be real with your team, okay? You see now what you had. Do you understand now? Who was the true leader? Now I'm gonna tell you some one more thing before I leave. That the running game was pretty awesome last night. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Okay, but you can't get it down to down to near the um, the, the the twenty yard line to the red zone and decide not to damn run. That's what we went through with Linehan. Get him the hell out of here. Okay, so let's not do that. Listen, more don't disappoint me, please. Don't be another Linehan, my man. I know he was a I know he was a he was a he was a man who picked you and was trained you, but don't be that. You get into the red zone, please take the, take the ball on the ground. Keep the ball on the ground when you get in the red zone. Most of the time, anyway. You see an opening? See something? That's one thing. All right, guys. Uh, next game, huh? It's going to be uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> Another rival. A Super Bowl rival. <laughs> oh, boy. We played them more than uh, anybody else in the Super Bowl. We played each other three times. Hmm. Anyway, good luck to the Eagles. Good luck to the Eagle fans. And uh, see y'all next week. Peace.